Hey guys, welcome to Lone Tree Milson. This is part two of my loadout. If you haven't seen part one, be sure to go check it out. There I covered the weapons that I use in Airsoft, my pistol and my, my main rifle. So be sure to go check that out if you haven't seen this video yet. Um, but in this one, I'm gonna be going over what gear I run to all the Milson ops that I go to. So uh, let's get right to it. <laughs> So, uh, I've been running this setup for a few years now. I've added and changed a few pieces as time's gone on, but uh, this is this has taken years for me to get to. Um, I've saved up a lot and, you know, just had to budget my finance as well. And I mean, I don't buy t like the top line. I buy a lot of knockoff stuff just to, just to get the stuff and it, it all works. You know, you don't need the best of the best, but if you have the money, sure, why not? Uh, but for me, I don't, but I'll go over what I have. And I'll be sure to leave a link for this stuff in the description. A lot of the stuff I did get, get from eBay, so it might not be there um, anymore, but just make sure you guys check. Uh, so let's start from the top. Uh, for my helmet, I have an Emerson uh, Fast Helmet, just your standard helmet. Uh, I, I changed out the padding on the inside so there's a better adjustable on the back here, as you can see. You can adjust here, uh, just fits a little bit more comfortably. Um, I have these uh, Z Tactical Contacts. Um, these are great and not so great. Um, they're nice because when you're at a Milsom op and there's thunder bees being thrown everywhere and there's life fire going on, it uh, protects your ears and you know, it just helps you stay focused. Uh, you can also have comms set up through it and it, you can also have like, you know, turn up the volume and stuff like that on the sides. But it does kind of like limit your, uh, like your, your, I don't know, your depth perception with your hearing and stuff like that so you know what's going on. Uh, but with these arc rail adapters here that I have, you can just pop them out and it makes it really easy to hear what's going on around you. Or you can just have one clamped and one open. So um, I've had them for quite a while and I, I don't really see a need for me to, to not wear them, but um, it's nice to run a little bit lighter sometimes, but this, these work. Um, on the side here, I have a Surefire helmet light. And this thing is fantastic because it, it's just out of the way. It's not in, it's not in your hands or anything like that. So uh, like in a night war when you're prepping or something like that and you're not, you don't have your gun in your hand or anything like that, you can just flip on the light you know, or whatever, and then you can just walk around and, and do stuff, and it's where you're looking, it's, it's where the light's gonna be shining, it's great, I love it. And uh, I would recommend picking one of these up if you guys are getting serious for Um On the top here, I have my GoPro Hero 4, this is the silver edition. Um, this is what I use to record all my footage for you guys. Um, it's, it's great, I've had it for a little while. It's really good quality, I love GoPros. And uh, what I have it set up with, is usually I have a cable that runs all the way to the back, in the back here, I have a pouch where I stick a um, portable battery charger so that I can keep my GoPro constantly charging and constantly running so that it doesn't run out. I actually have a video where I go over that a little bit more in depth, and I'll put a link right, right around here somewhere you know, in the description um, to that video. But, and then on top, I also have a V light, and this is just pretty much your dead light. So when you die and an it mills them up, you know, you can just put that on at night and everyone knows that you're dead. I hope it turned off, but we'll see. Um, for face protection, now this a lot of you guys have seen this and have been requesting me to do a, a, a how to make one of these. Um, this is custom. Um, we we buy those normal face mesh masks and we hate how bulky they are. They like they cover up your nose, your mouth, and your chin. You can't see anything. Try to look down your gear. It pushes your glasses up. You can't see what you're looking at. So we cut these and molded them and put hot glued them and made them a little bit better so that they just cover your face. And what's neat is we've, we've attached them to the, the chin strap on the helmet so that you can actually put it over your mouth, clip it in, and there we go. Your face is protected, it's out of the way, and so that when you're, when you're in close quarters or when you're in engagement, your face is protected, you don't have to worry about it, and you can actually still see what's going around you. And when you're done with the op, you can just unclip, and you're, you're comfortable again, because I hate having a mask on my face, you know, you can't see and stuff like that, so um, that's what I have there. And I, I will do a video a little bit more in depth on how to actually make it. I just got to order in some then so I can show you guys how to do that. Um, for eye protection, I use these uh, Vulcan Zulu glasses. I did a more in depth video on this and I'll make sure to leave a link in this so I don't spend too much time on this. But uh, these are what I run and they, I love them. They're great. So be sure to go check them out. So now onto my chest rig. Uh, what I run is a TMC 6094 uh, like LBT uh, replica. Um, these are, I love this type of vest because it is really high up, you know, it is really tight fitting and it, it's not as bulky and you can get a lot of stuff on, you can move fast, it doesn't get in the way of anything. Um, had this for quite a while, it's 
starting to wear out after you know a few years so i might have to get another one at some point but this is what i run at the moment in the front i have three mags uh, this mag pouch was sent to me from airsoft peak i'll leave a link in the description for that and the coupon code for it um, this is great it just gives me molly if i want to put more stuff on front and it also has these retention straps if i need to keep my mags in there but um, this is where i have three up front it keeps me you know able to get prone and get close to the ground if i need to um, on the side here this pouch is full of batteries batteries for my contacts my surefires but more importantly uh, it has batteries for my gopro for up here for my gun and then also some extra sd cards in case that runs out so this is pretty much my essentials if i need to go to um, on this side i have a two grenade holster here where i have two cycling grenades um, these were sent to me from airsoft innovations and i did a review on this a little while ago um, only just recently used these at an op uh, we used them at dragon's keep and uh, they uh, were pretty good i mean they weren't the most reliable things but they're pretty neat um, they spray BBs everywhere and they can clear out a room pretty decently, so be sure to go check that out a bit more. And then on here on the side I have uh, two backup mags. Um, these are just in case I start running out from the front. Uh, just two mags here. And then on the backpack I have uh, my radio pouch where I have a Beofang uh, radio so I can keep in comms with my team. And usually we use those security mics that just go in the ear and just hook onto, the, onto your chest so you can just push the button and talk to it. So uh, communication is very key in airsoft. That'll, that'll make your team from level 1 to level 10, in my opinion. If you know where your teammates are and you can coordinate attacks, it really does help. Um, for my sling, I have a Magpul MS2 sling. It can change between a 1 point to a 2 point, with just a push of a button here. And these are great, I love them. Um, on the back, as you guys are probably wondering, I have a, I believe it's a Pantech, uh, just a modular assault panel uh, assault pack not panel uh, and what it does is it's it's you know I've, I've modified it so that it doesn't hang any lower than my vest here and on the bottom i have all my tools and stuff like that like my screwdriver my allen wrenches and stuff like that so for me or for the entire squad if anything goes down we have the tools needed to fix the gun or whatever you know that goes down i also carry hydration in there water is so key to have you make sure you keep hydrated when you're airsoft because if you get dehydrated on the field, you're not going to play as well and you're going to be a hazard to the rest of your teammates and to your own health. So uh, I have my hydration tube coming through the side here and it's great to keep hydrated. Uh, I love this pack. They're kind of hard to find. They're actually really hard to find. They're always out of stock. So uh, I'll leave a link in the description where I found it. I don't know if they'll be in stock, but they're great. And I might make a video on showing you guys how to mod it so that it fits on one of these small type vests. So uh, be sure to go check that out. Um, so. Uh, for the camo that I use, these are both Emerson uh, Multicam, uh, just Gen 2, Gen 3s. Um, I take the built-in elbow pads out because I don't really like uh, that bulkiness. I like being loose on the arms. Um, for pants, I have the built-in knee pads and I love them. I'm a big advocate for those. And uh, for gloves, I use the Vulcan Zulu Tactical Gloves. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can actually go check these out. I made a bigger review on them and I love these gloves. They're <laughs> like my favorite. Um, got my South Africa patch, this is where I was born, and then I got my Ireland patch, this is where I grew up, and now I'm living in the States. It's kind of a confusing story, but that's why I wear those patches, as a, as a lot of you guys have noticed. Um, this is this patch up here is from my recent event with JTAC Airsoft. Alright, on my side here, I actually have a pouch for my mag, which I call my last resort mag. This is when everything uh, has gone out of ammo on my, my chest rig and stuff like that, and I'm down to this last mag I know I gotta get back. I gotta get with my team, get some mags off of them, or I have to get a retreat so we can fill up on ammo. Uh, so that's what I have here. And then down on the side here, I have my uh, uh, Black Hawk Serpa holster where I hold my 1911 TAC by Elite Force. Um, I honestly love having a drop leg holster. Uh, you've gotta have the hard uh, click in ones, otherwise, I feel like the pouch ones, they don't hold your mags as well, uh, hold your pistol as well. I recommend picking up one of these. Um, they're really good and really handy. A lot of you guys like running it on the chest or running it right on the belt, and that works. I tried that, but for me, it was just too awkward for me to get to it. So, uh, since I ever, since I've got this, I actually really enjoy running a pistol now. Um, it's just easy to get to, it reaches my arms length just superbly. So, um, yep, that's what I have on my side. And for for boots, we run the uh, Merle Yokota uh, hiking boots. And these things are fantastic. They support your ankles so great. They have awesome uh, heel support, and they just and they feel like tennis shoes, so that you can just go running like you're actually in a sport. 
uh, and it just like it's just just you know run feels like you're running on air uh, we've gone through tons of hiking boots the big bulky kinds and stuff and those are just made you so cumbersome so i'll do a more in-depth review on those in, at some point uh, but those are what we run on our feet so. uh, also i have a sunto uh, ops core uh, watch here that i run it to every event actually i just run it in general all the time uh, it has a compass on it also an elevation meter barometer meter and it's just got tons of neat features which just which just helps in case you actually need, uh, need those stuff in an airsoft field. Um, I got that for a graduation gift a few years ago, but uh, this is what I carry with me uh, on my wrist all the time. It's great to have a sense of time and knowing what's going on when you're in the field. So, uh, But that's been my loadout. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Uh, it's been a long time coming, and I'll be sure to give you guys updates on if I add anything new to my, my loadout and stuff like that. Maybe I'll do a winter loadout for when it's snowing. Um, so make sure you guys uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you guys have not. Uh, be sure to check out part one if you haven't. That's where I go over my, my weapon system that I run and uh, just, just how I, I, I play airsoft with my, with my guns and stuff like that. So make sure you guys go check that out. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys are looking to buy a Lone Tree Milsom shirt, we finally have them for sale. We have them in a green with white writing and also a tan with black writing. So depending on what team you usually play for, we've got you covered. Um, they do have the team name on there, Lone Tree Milsom with the cross is the T and also Joshua 1-9, which is our team verse. So uh, if you guys are looking to pick up one of these, they're only 20 bucks and they have free shipping on them. So uh, they are on eBay. You guys can click the link in the description or you can just search Lone Tree Milsom shirts on eBay. So uh, it'd be a great way to support us and we really appreciate all your guys' uh, views and your comments and your likes and uh, your really good encouragement and it's great to see this channel grow. So uh, thanks for watching and stick around for more. Thanks.